like it's high enough because it's, uh, it's almost as long as it is high. It's well known that vertical antennas are best for operating near salt water. A problem though is vertical antennas also require attention to a ground or counterpoise system. Very commonly that means a lot of radials, either buried or elevated. Here on the beach that's a big problem because dogs are often running around and they'll trip over radials or even cause the wire to break on them. One solution is to use an elevated tuned counterpoise. Recommended by Les Moxon, G6XN, he found that it was quite efficient and in fact just as good as antennas with large buried or elevated radial systems. The counterpoise radials comprise of a TV rabbit tier antenna, the indoor type. The coil is a bit bigger than is needed for the higher HF bands, but there's an alligator clip so I can adjust the number of turns in the circuit. The wire is just over 5 metres long, or a quarter wavelength on 14 megahertz. But in this case, we're using it on 18 megahertz, hence the series capacitor. This is the coax feed line going down to the radio and right next to it is this RF current meter. It's also mentioned in Moxon's book. Very simple, just a capacitor, germanium diode and a loop of wire. I will now test to see if there's any RF radiation coming from where it shouldn't be, i.e. the coax feed line. If the counterpoise is properly set up, there shouldn't be any. With the meter very tightly coupled to the feed line, there's a small signal indicated. Whereas on the radiating element, it was full scale. When I was a teenager, I used to go around with a chap, um, uh, Harold Jones, G5ZT in the UK. G5ZT, yeah. okay. And um, he did a quite a lot of two meter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, which I was always very intrigued. And mm. I had a Relder radio R107, and I used mm -hmm. to listen to ham radios and send out the QSL cards. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a long time ago. Mm. Um, I served an apprenticeship doing uh, radio and TV servicing. Oh, yeah. But I, uh, I'm a bit of a petrol head, so my interest went into cars. Okay. Yeah. Kind of, but when I retired, I thought, oh, I'll get into mm. this. Mm. But I just haven't. Uh, I'm always doing two Yeah, yeah, no, they've um, introduced a, a license for it's a lot easier now than it used to be. Yeah, the Morse code, uh, I never seem to be able to get the hang of that. Oh, you don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame, really, the purest probably. Although people right. still use it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Single side then, and all that sort of stuff. There's a bit of Morse there. Oh, uh, there we go. CQ. Da -da 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 -da. That's all I remember. I have you five and seven, Sadiq. A VK3 Yankee Echo, that are one Bravo Delta. A Victor Kilo 3 uh, Yankee Echo, uh, this is Whiskey 7 Echo X ray Germany. Uh, you know, I'm still topping your Q5, so, but, uh, but you do push it up to about S1. And, uh, here's what I've got you're running five watts, you're laying on the beach. megahertz has stopped producing results so I've just put in a wire to short the tuning capacitor. Moving the tap a little bit allowed operation on 14 megahertz. Yeah, but good afternoon. 